Hi guys and welcome to another Budget Squad Builder by myself Bates and 87 Now this one, as you can tell by the title, is going to cost between 10 and 15,000 coins on all platforms. All platforms means PlayStation, Xbox and PC. So the reason I built this team is because I was playing FIFA on Friday... And I come up against a team which was a very nice looking hybrid and it had no dead links. Now, there has been a bit of an argument recently where people have been building hybrids with no uh, no dead links and they've been basically getting slated saying they're not, not hybrids. But this one is a hybrid in my opinion. Now, you guys may or may not agree, but it is a cheap hybrid and hopefully I can build some more decent ones in the future because I do prefer playing with uh, hybrids which look like this anyway. Now, if you guys want any... Uh, ultimate team coins to buy such players as you see on the bench or even build this team Make sure you check out battlea.com and use the discount code Bateson to get 5% off your ultimate team coins If you need MSP, PSN or cheap game codes make sure you check out G2A.com as well And if we can smash over 3000 likes guys that would be absolutely insane So let's start off in net and we start off in Liga 1 uh, and we chose Mandanda. Now, you can pick any of these French goalkeepers. You can pick any French goalkeeper. Uh, and we chose Mandanda because a lot of people don't trust him. But I thought I'd give him the benefit of the doubt just to try him. But you can replace him. And uh, this team is quite replaceable, actually. If you want to change a few things up and make the team uh, a bit uh, more to your liking, then you're more than welcome to. In the centre-back position, we went with uh, French just to keep the uh, no dead link uh, thing there. And uh, on the right hand side we do go with Rami from Valencia, uh, him being French gets a link with Mandanda and on the right, uh, no, yeah, no, <laughs> on the centre back position uh, we did go with another centre back which is French and that was uh, Kabul from Tottenham, so a very decent centre back pairing. Now even though you look at Rami, you look at his pace, don't really look at his pace because everything else like his positioning, his tackling and all his other stats are pretty, uh, pretty stats. That, uh, pretty awesome so definitely worth the purchase as he is a discard price centre back in the right back position we do move to the Liga BBVA uh, when I do find it so Liga BBVA right back and you can have anyone from there but we went with Juan Fran just because Danny Alves uh, there's a few more Brazilians in there and in the right wing position we do go with Sanchez from Barcelona the Chilean now the reason I have built this and the reason there's a striker in there is because I did build the best possible uh, Chilean team the other day and use this striker and wanted to try him out in a hybrid team and see what he did and he does do the business now in the left back position we do go with a um, do go with a Brazilian left back and it is Fabio now you can use either one you can use the uh, Manchester United one which is impact so you can use the Cardiff one as well and then we stick with the Brazilian side of things in the midfield so let's switch up this to Brazilian and there we go so centre mid Brazilian on the left hand side we went with Fernandinho who is a non-rare probably the best one best non-rare player in my opinion on the game on the right hand side we do go with uh, Casemiro from Real Madrid getting the BBVA link as you can see there is no dead links uh, and also the Fabio Fernandinho link is the only strong link in, in, the, uh, in the team as well. In the camp position we do go with uh, Ronaldinho the legend that is Ronaldinho we use him not for his pace, we use him for his flair, his passing and uh, his all round enjoyment of being able to use him on the game. In the left wing position we do go with uh, Fernandinho the 85 pace 80 dribbling and uh, 73 shooting left wing, he also plays for the same team as Ronaldinho and his discard value as well with 4 star skills. So to finish off this team let's uh, go with the striker who we did put in the team uh, on the weekend, the Chile team and uh, it is none other than Vargas. Now there is a few versions, two versions of Vargas but we are using the one from Ligo de Brazil. Absolutely brilliant player. Uh, he has four star skills as well I do believe. Uh, yeah, four star skills, four star weak foot, fast, and uh, he scored eight in it for me. So an absolute brilliant striker. So there we are, guys. That is my cheap budget team this week, a non dead link hybrid. Really hope you've enjoyed watching it. Now I'm going to show you some goals and highlights from this team. Smash that like button, subscribe if you're not subscribed, and I'll be back in a sec. 
So we are back guys and instantly I knew that Vargas was going to rip shit up. This was the first goal I did score of him in the team and look at the pace of out uh, outpacing a Bundesliga team as well. It was pretty pretty stupid. He was ripping defences to bits. Uh, four star skills does help as well. With Ronaldinho there, he is a brilliant playmaker. Don't use him for his pace, just use him for his flair and his passing. Very brilliant all round player. The players which stood out for me which I didn't really uh, know much about in the game so far are uh, Rami was brilliant. Juan Fan was brilliant, Fabio was good, Casemiro as well and uh, you don't really see them players being used in the game especially Rami just because of his pace but the midfield of Fernandinho, Casemiro and uh, Ronaldinho is a very well balanced team and I really do recommend you using it whether it be in a Brazil team or whether it be in this team if you do build it. Now if you've got any loose coins build it, let me know in the comment section below what you think and uh, what changes you would make to keep it a non-deadlink hybrid. Link? What the fuck am I saying? But Fernandinho, Vargas and Sanchez is a very deadly front three. Uh, if one of them misses, there'll be one on either side to tap it in, whether it be Sanchez or Fernandinho. Um, and Vargas, just absolutely ridiculous. One of the best strikers I've used on the game and 77 rated. Reminds me a lot of how I, uh, Ibarbo is on the game, where he introduces aids and can just outpace anyone. With the uh, two centre-backs of Kabul, and Rami though very very solid players don't really uh, give up much space but we did concede a few goals but that could be down to the goalkeeper but who knows uh, maybe you guys can say which keeper you would use instead of Mandanda because I know a lot of people uh, don't really like the choice that I did make with him you could have Lloris in there but that would get you an extra strong link you could use Rufier as well who is uh, said to look like me now with Fabio you can use any Brazilian uh, well no it's actually only one Brazilian uh, one Brazilian left back in the BPL so, that, so that's wrong ignore what I was saying then uh, and with Juan Fran you can replace him for Danny Alves if you have extra coins um, but yeah that's the team guys really hope you've enjoyed watching it tomorrow uh, we're going to be doing another one a really expensive one so let me know uh, in the comment section below if you want to see me do more cheap ones in the future give me a budget give me some players to build it around and hopefully I'll get them done in the next couple of weeks so smash that like button guys try and smash over 3000 likes subscribe if you're not subscribed and comment in the section below about what I've been asking and if you need any ultimate team coins to purchase players make sure you check out battlea.com and use the discount code Bates and to get 5% off so have a very nice rest of your day uh, tonight we have the league one road to glory coming out at 9 30 so make sure you do check that out and uh, obviously that is going to be happening all week apart from Wednesday so until next time guys see you all later and have a very nice day Onde você vai?